It appears that history is repeating itself yet again. A doctor by the name of Elizabeth Sobeth, who looks a lot like our friend here, Aloy, created the machines and then it was turned against humanity. And so once again, we have a booty hole who's bringing all these robots back to life. But you know what? If we were, in fact, the doctor once, then I don't doubt at all that we're going to be able to bring this down once again. Now, in the last episode, we did bring down the network. We came face to face with Hades, the system, or should I call it a program? It is more like an artificial intelligence that wants us dead. And so now we're seeking for more answers. Oh, the truth is coming right around the corner because now we're wondering what is Project Zero Dawn and did it work? after all. And as you friends can see, I thought this was the ocean at first, and I think it's part of the ocean. Here we are. It's beautiful, as always. What more can I say? But we're getting close to a city, I believe. Now, the cities in these games, or should I say in these times, are really small. But it is another part of the desert. As you can see here, there's a lot of cacti. There's nothing but sand. It's flat. And these um, weird structures here, rock formations. I swear I've seen them before. If you drive up to the Grand Canyon somewhere, you're bound to bump into them. Now let's see if we get a warm welcome. I don't actually know what's uh, waiting for us. And Silence has quite of a booty hole as well. He did in fact admit that he did work with them. And by them, I mean the villains. And then he backed away when they saw that they were actually, you know, turning bad. But he also mentioned something along the lines that he does things for his own benefit. Let's just cross our fingers that he isn't gonna stab us in the back. But I, I can't confirm that I know he's using us. Because he wants something, right? He wants to uncover the truth just as much as we do. So I guess you can say we're helping each other. Sunfall. The Mad King Drawn Summer Palace. A bulwark of Karja might against the howling forbidden west. Thanks for the history lessons. <laughs> but they have no idea what lies beneath. We will learn much from this Aloy. That's what I'm hoping. What? Well, what's going on here? Are you guys okay? Hmm. I'm not liking this one bit. <clears throat> if this is how you treat your people, how are they gonna treat us? Am I welcomed? Would you like to buy No, thank you. Today? I'm just gonna keep going to my destination. Oh, wow. They had to have a fighting pit, right? The sun was in Get back! It's not a piece of radium. At least. I wouldn't even be surprised. I don't want to face my father. Now we get to see if your attack on their focus network was entirely successful. <laughs> Success. <laughs> Welcome to the Citadel, Eloy. I'll check back with you in a moment. Outlander. In the meantime, if you want to hear about today's bounties, head for the throne room. You're not going to make any shards by standing out here. Does that include me? I'll take the I shards. I think so. Even if it means having a listen As to the seats. I hear the shadow cards are looking for So you guys just let anybody in here, don't you? <laughs> Bro, you know I come here with mal intent. By the glory of the sun revealed. Behold, radiant Edaman, the one true sun king, the light in shadow, whose will is light and whose light is law. I command Lucian Bahavas to speak in my behalf. Hey, that's a little kid that we heard about. By the will of Radiant Edaman does the sun glare down mercilessly upon the traitor Uthid. To the hunter who brings his head to us shall go a bounty of 500 shards. More prisoners than royalty, don't you think? Hmm. 
Love your hair. Not only did the wretch conspire to you and I need to chat, Citadel, little Huntress. The Green Tent King. down in Shadowside. I'll be waiting. Kind of busy. And and in doing so, demonstrated wanton disregard for the safety We both know you're no killer for hire. Uthid is innocent. So come see Go me while there's still time to save him. The will of the sun. So, the way in I spoke of is right behind you. You've got to be kidding. Not at all. And you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. First I time in the Citadel, that. gotta see the sun ring from on high. Well, the Kestrels. Well. Ha! Ah, they want us I'm to see this, I'm pretty sure boy. the dude here... It makes quite an impression. What's his name? Helios or something like that? Helios? The balustrade. It's a short drop from there. A short drop. A short drop? Dude, you gotta be out of your freaking mind. Oh, right here. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm just judging you too hard because I don't trust you. Yeah, nobody's gonna be paying attention to me, huh? I guess not. By the way, guys, these outfits... Mm, this one's also my favorite. <laughs> They're just stinking cute. What do you want me to say? <laughs> oh my god, that's embarrassing. Remind me to never show you the outfits anymore, friends. Oh my god, Aloy, what the bloody hell are you doing? We're not dead, but we might as well be. Well, I had to come down here anyways. So, what the hell? I just did it my own way. The other side of the tower. Look for a vent. I see you've been here before. Obviously. Now, it's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. Mm. I've shown you the way in, but this humble vent marks a point of no return. Before you descend into the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. No distractions. If you have errands to run, do them first or hold oh. your peace. I won't tolerate whining. Is that clear? You'll tolerate what I give you, Silence. I didn't ask you along for the ride. <laughs> what a creative way to tell us to go uh, get ready because we're not going to be able to travel wherever we want. Guys, I think this is the final episode. Okay, friends, I have returned. I got everything that I think I need. Let's make this happen. I'm heading down. I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world. Where the machines came from. How the old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence and death. A lifetime of failure. As year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until a Nora Huntress marched out of the savage east. And, voila, for her, all the deepest secrets of the earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Hold for identiscan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Malfunction. 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 Are you kidding me? You don't hear me laughing. <laughs> Shut up. There's gotta be another way. Hey! Elizabeth Sobek here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? I do! Get me through this door! Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Emergency venting authorized. everything that will draw attention we won't have this place to ourselves for long now we last i checked i was the one whisking my life down here yes fine now will you please get moving there's so much to learn in less time than i'd hoped 
I mean, we can close the door, right? If we demand it. And then sneak back out. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. <gasps> Zero Dawn. We found oh. it. Are you really so surprised? Facility diagnostics detect multiple failures. Attempting repair. So, what was this room? An entrance hall, perhaps. Have a look around. I mean, that's what I intend to do, my dude. We finally made it where the project was being made. At least that's what I think. Please take a seat and wait for your name to be called. A selection of beverages and snacks are available. <laughs> A smaller room. I bet they're all expired, aren't they? <laughs> okay, let's keep going through this door here. Please proceed into viewing room one for an important message regarding what? what was this place? A holographic theater. ZD01 data intact. Initiating playback. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. I am General Harris. Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors that Zero Dawn is a top secret super weapons program. The technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague if Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them. And they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super weapons program. And it will not save us. Nothing will save us. Here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating, waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of zero dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris. Out. Man, that sucks. I got a lot of chills right now. That doesn't make sense. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. He said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow... Somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. Oh, that sucks, man. Damn, Ted, you majorly, majorly f***ed up. You literally brought the end of destruction. Kestrels. They got in. Through oh the vents. Oh my god. Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Spread out! If it moves, kill it! What is this place? I'm just gonna hit them from above. Hey, you guys, don't worry about me. You guys just... Why are you here? Who told you to come here? Snitches. 
Probably Hades, huh? Frickin' system never died when it should've. There is some mistake. I don't understand why it was brought here. Why would you show me these things? I know that there's already a lot to take in. In the waiting area, I was seated with a noble laureate in biophysics and a monk, I think. He spoke neither English nor Mandarin. It is very strange. And General Harris? What was he talking about? The robot swarm, the pharaoh plague? I understand it is terrible, but it really cannot be stopped. Why tell us this? There are people in Shanghai, my friends, my family. They have joined Operation Enduring Victory already. It is for nothing? We will all die? We're going to be able to answer some of these questions. I just want to know why I am here. It doesn't make sense to me. You were brought here because of your skill set. No, that can't be right. I am an art historian. I know Dutch masters, Japanese calligraphy, uh, Gerhard Richter. What does that matter now? I see what they did. They were getting the best of the best because they were going to reproduce themselves for the future generations or future civilization, I should say. But it doesn't seem like that went to plan because a lot of these people didn't get their memories back. So they woke Over up. here, she's coming. That's what you get. But being a snit. Oh, you guys are the ones that are from the palace. Only I have to kill you, don't I? Most of the tribal primitives stop us now. The data points, what do they contain? That is accurate, yes. So these mechanical monstrosities, they don't just kill people. They feed off them. Wow. Not just people, all organic wow. matter. Wow. Every living thing dissolved into nutrients. Millennia of evolution liquefied the miracle of life reduced to bloody biofuel in a word yes who did this pharaoh that asshole is he here no doctor please tell him tom pate wants a word <laughs> no, get off get off please you get ted pharaoh in Damn. here he wants to kick his ass. I mean, I feel him. Like I said, he majorly f***ed up. You previously worked for Faro Automated Systems. On the chariot line self-replication routines? I came here thinking this was a, a rendition. When your people took me, I, I thought, about time. I've been trying to swallow the guilt every day since... Since, uh... Would you like to take a moment? No, 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 I, I just... I really hoped Zero Dawn was a way to undo it all. My work. And I'm sorry to say I was ever proud of it, but Ted could really sell a concept. And, and, and in the labs, in the, the, the light of creation, that first test run, when, when you saw they understood their own structures, could rebuild themselves from memory and light, there were no limits. God, there were no limits. <laughs> and now you come to realize that, man. Well, you know what? Now you're feeling all guilty because you literally killed everyone and you're responsible for it. And who in the bloody hell thinks it's okay to build machines that can feed off our own planet? Oh, Jesus Christ. It's like this dude never saw robot movies. CBO2 data intact. Initiating playback. Elizabeth Sobeck. You've heard the bad news, and it's all true. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. Life itself will cease to exist. But does that have to be the end? What if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? This is the aim the hope of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, 
It would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about and build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. Oh my god! From detoxifying oh the Earth's god. ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas, to the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stocks, to rewilding the Earth with animal life, and then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings, spawned at cradle facilities around the globe, will partake of Apollo. The vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world. And most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. Wow. I'm literally speechless. The whole earth destroyed, but then remade? Yes by a machine, a machine of creation. Elizabeth did this for life, for us, but why Hades then? If it was part of Gaia, how did it end up in the wreckage of a pharaoh robot? And why does it want to kill me? And Apollo, the archive of knowledge, what happened to that? I'm as confused as you are. Maybe the answers lie ahead. Yeah, I think they do. Um, well, <laughs> she definitely answered my question because I didn't understand why there was actual animals, machines that were like digging up the earth. I thought they were eating it up, but it's actually, they were helping the planet recreate once again. And that's why every location that we've gone to, there's different animal machines. That's why there's the crocodiles. We have the deer looking ones. We have the horses. But the crazy thing of all friends is there's rats, <laughs> there's fox, raccoons, bunnies, there's even fish. So somehow those things were able to come back to life, but not in a robot form. And it also answers the question why there's no other animals. It's because they all went extinct along with the human race. But I do have the question if this project Zero Dawn was supposed to end the robots, and it seems like it did, partially. I think the system still survived. The program, Hades. But can you imagine? She's the one that created the robots for good to help the planet. And then what, maybe a couple decades 
later she has to create this once again to unfortunately not save the planet in their current time but later in the future wow i am amazed by this woman she is a freaking genius and it's unfortunate how it was stripped from her turned into something bad and now she had to create something else to save the entire planet it's just it's a bloody mess and i can understand why they got the best of the best now again to get all their information because it was going to pass down to the future people Intruder! Get her! Like Whatever you, you do, don't die now. Oh, it's Toby Kill. Oh my god, I'm so blind. Okay, I was curious how this was gonna work. Just like we Here were we when we were. Another one kids. of these. Yeah, another one of these. To find Great. The right configuration. Boom. I should check the door nearby. Great. Uh, what about this one, though? Oh, one of them's not even working. Oh, but it opened. Okay, perfect. There's found one. Looks intact. I'm surprised after all this time, it still works. <laughs> that should do the trick. Now let's get that door open. That did it. The door should have power. Now to see what lies beyond it. Oh, you gotta be joking. Eclipse, they're here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia, it's up there. Second floor. Can you reach it? So much for avoiding contact. I'll take him out, no worries. One sec. Get her! is Hephaestus. As the name might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. Her personal forge. Except, it's not that simple. Um, so like, you probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest, experts in machine cognition, virtual heuristics, that stuff. Well, that's because we aren't going to be the ones designing and building robots. The last thing we want is to burden Gaia with a bunch of outmoded 21st century designs. Waste of time. Our purpose is to empower Gaia to build the robots. And not just build, imagine, from scratch. Any robot she needs for any conceivable purpose, designed and fabricated at a snap of a finger. Hers. Her finger. So, Hephaestus isn't really the forge. It's more like the knowledge of craft and ingenuity of a master smith to wield the hammer. Encoded as software. Virtual creativity made real. Gaia's already learning. In simulation, she's doing some very creative things with fractal assembly and animal morphologies. Her designs aren't about to win the Liam Prize anytime soon, but hey, everyone has to start somewhere. So, yes, time to get started. Let's do this. I don't get it. Which part? It's a little technical in places. If Gaia was designed to save life, why would the robots it makes attack people? Perhaps it loves some forms of life more than others. The derangement. The machines weren't always so angry. True. Mostly they were docile until 10, 15 years ago. For years, Hephaestus has been forcing cauldrons to make aggressive machines. I've seen it myself, in the cauldrons. 
Stalkers, Ravagers, the Thunderjaw. How could it do that? And why? Why indeed? I think this is it. Elizabeth Sobeck's office. More Eclipse. Careful now. How in the world did they get here before I did? Is there another entrance somewhere? <laughs> 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 Cradle facilities. Elizabeth said a, a new generation of humans would be spawned inside such places. She did. All Mother Mountain. It was one of them? There's only one way to be sure. The hatch wouldn't open. Something, something about a corrupted alpha registry. I need to search Elizabeth's office. Looks like it used to hold something. Some component that got removed. You will undergo a brief period of unconsciousness during relocation to Prime and final statement. Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? When you're back up and running at the new site, we'll bring the subordinate functions online and see where we stand. Elizabeth, I detect distress. Are you all right? I'm fine. I realize that circumstances compel us to launch earlier than we hoped, but all subsystems are operational. The odds stand in our favor. But what if... Guy, there's nothing left out there. You can't even survive unless you're wearing an environmental suit. Oh my god. There are billions dead. In fear and agony. What if... What if it was all for nothing? Elizabeth, extinction was inevitable. Thanks to you, life will have a future. You really believe that? I believe in you, Elizabeth. In you, all things... All things are possible? Is that what she was going to say? Well, they ended up creating her. Quote unquote, Mother Nature. would benefit from antelope and amorphologies, though campered forms show superior load-bearing capability. You're a quick study, Gaia. Dr. Sobek, as I have conducted this comparative analysis of mammalian morphologies, I've gathered extensive data on the Quaternary Extinction event. Oh? And your assessment? Gaia? Logically speaking, the extinction was a natural consequence. And yet... And yet... I find the loss of megafaunal species... unaccountably sad. That they passed forever into oblivion... causes me to experience... a grief... that is difficult to describe. Am I malfunctioning? <sighs> no, no, Gaia, you're not. This is good. It's very good. They made her very human-like. Pure logic won't cut it, Ted. To pull this off, Gaia's going to need to have some skin in the game. It has to care. What if it runs amok? Have we learned nothing from our mistakes? Your mistakes, I think you mean? All I'm saying is give it a kill switch. She was just born, Ted. I'm not gonna put a gun to her head while she's still in the cradle. You talk like it's a child. What if it becomes a monster? May I speak outside protocol? Of course, Gaia, go on. I'm sorry to contradict you, but Mr. Pharaoh's argument is sound. At this point, the development of my psyche is not entirely predictable. To ensure preservation of life, a hardwired override is, I believe, a necessary safeguard. There. Satisfied, Ted? Jeez, let's just do what it says. I mean, to be completely honest, it is his freaking mistake. He's the one that did this mess. The Alpha Registry Master File. Intact? Yeah. No signs of corruption. Then what are you waiting for? Copy the file. With this, I can restore the registry at the hatch inside Allmother. Open it. Go 
inside. And to grasp the secrets within. Where I was born. Maybe. Maybe who gave birth to me. Who? Are you really so naive? There will be no who waiting for you there, Aloy. Whatever birthed you into the world was a what, not a who. You bastard. Oh, no, I had a legitimate birth. It's you, Aloy, who are the creation of a machine. But what kind of machine and why? Why were you created? Oh! Eclipse. Uh-oh. You need to get out of there. What you found is too valuable. You're too valuable. It's this son of a gun. What the hell is that? Still alive. Good. I have a more suitable death in mind for you, child. <laughs> Oh my Jesus. You got issues, dude. Do you not realize you're bringing extinction all over again? My entire life, I've always known one thing with prophetic certainty. That I was destined for glory as a great champion of the sun. Even when Jaron was murdered, even when Meridian fell, I never doubted my destiny. Until you came along. When I heard that you had survived, a doubt took root in my mind. As sure as the sun rises and falls each day, those I am bade to kill die. And yet I failed. How? Why? With each dig site you attacked, each loyal soldier you killed, this pestering doubt grew. I kept thinking of the moment my knife pierced your throat. One twist, a simple tug of the blade, and you would have bled out. In slaughter, I am a practiced hand. So why hesitate? Why fail my destined purpose? I guess even a monster like you can have a glimmer of conscience. You didn't kill me right away. Turn your face to the sun, child. Dressing up murder as religious sacrifice so you could feel better about it? No. I never doubted the righteousness of killing you. And yet, your words touch close to the truth. In my heart, I deem the order to kill you unworthy of me you were just a savage girl so I thought at the time even still I aimed to kill you and yet did not this failing troubled my thoughts haunted every step it was only when I captured you down in that place that I finally glimpsed the sun's design etched at length across the course of events. You were meant to survive that day on the mountain. Meant to interfere at dig sites and kill my men. Conversely, I was meant to capture you. Here. So that you might die as a sacrificial offering to the sun. Everything as it was meant to be. Predestined and preordained. <laughs> some destiny. You're following orders, not some grand cosmic design. You're a puppet, with Hades yanking the strings. A pawn pushed around by larger forces. It'd be laughable if there weren't so much killing involved. Hades is an ancient machine, 
not the buried shadow of Karja myth. It doesn't care about Meridian. It wants to kill everything and everyone. And you are its dutiful slave. I serve not the buried shadow, but the sun in shadow. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, dark to light. Do you really not hear how ridiculous that sounds? You've gone from serving an insane homicidal Sun King to an insane homicidal machine. You're moving down in the world, not up. I'll remember those words as I watch your corpse burn. Whatever's left of it. You fail to grasp the point. As surely as you've been conquered, so has all doubt. And with certainty of belief comes unstoppable force. Then you just cage and put your faith to the test. See if things work out like you expect. The circle has closed. Every element is in its proper place, exactly where it belongs. The errant beast, now caged, will serve her true purpose. A sacrificial animal. Oh, speaking of sacrifice, I forgot to tell you. After you crash the Eclipse Network, I sent messengers into the East to rally the forces there and mount an invasion of the sacred land. I ordered every Nora killed. I was hoping to catch you there, but alas, it all seems to have been unnecessary. Oh, this son of a gun. Why butcher dozens of innocents for no gain? It's a waste of effort. You're right. I won't even be there to enjoy it. In any case, I couldn't recall the order even if I wished to. Thanks to your destruction of the network, communication over distances is impossible. You not only doomed yourself, but an entire tribe. Do we not see the scorching judgment of the sun in these events? Your focus, such a powerful device, isn't it? And yet, so fragile. So you see, this time, I did not hesitate. The knife has already been twisted. Oh god, we're gonna fight. And we lost our focus. They stripped me of my clothes. What is this baloney? I don't want any of it. Karja Faithful, rejoice! Our years in shadow are over. A new dawn trembles on the horizon. A new day, soon to break. And when it does, the false Sun King will be dead, and Holy Meridian ours once more. In this, I have become an instrument of prophecy. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, light to dark, night to day. Behold! Hold your seats! Can you not see the proof of the sun's blessing before your eyes? How else? Prowl in broad light of day. Were they not approved by the sun and joined to our cause? Many years ago, to consecrate this great ring, the Radiant Turan ordered many faithless crushed beneath the hooves of the behemoth. Mighty is the behemoth in the eye of the sun, but it is mightier still in future the power of shadow. Let this one, who schemed and slithered, be the first to die! Let her be the first 
of thousands! are up on the platform. There's no way out of this ring. Maybe I could use its strength against it. I have nothing! What that pillar's weak. Another hit, and that pillar will come down. Ready to charge. your life of course i did if you'd been killed the nora sacred mountain would never have given up its secrets too bad you wasted your time then helis destroyed my focus and the alpha registry with it not at all 
The whole time I've been monitoring your focus, I've duplicated every data file you scanned. Installing that data to a new focus was trivially easy. Happy birthday, <laughs> Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. You're really good at making it impossible to like you, Sans. <laughs> but I guess I need this. It's time to see where you were born. Maybe you'll even learn why. Yeah. Meet the machine that birthed me into this world. Isn't that how you put it? I'll be off. Wait. Yes? How did you track my location when I wasn't wearing a focus? Really, Aloy. It doesn't take a genius to surmise that Helis would throw you into the sun when at high noon. I wore out two striders getting here in time, but I did. Now be on your way. Since when can you override machines? Ever since you discovered the technique. I had to destroy a corrupted to obtain the necessary parts, of course. But your example showed me how to do that as well. Yet another benefit of monitoring your activities through the focus. Truth be told, the underlying logic of the technique isn't so different from rites practiced by Banuk shamans. Though, of course, far more advanced. Great. You're welcome, I guess. Helis recognized you back in the Sunring. You told me that you'd assisted the Eclipse. Not that you knew the man who killed my... Who almost killed me. So now you know. The man is a serious threat. So let's do all we can to make sure that he and Hades don't succeed. Right. I'll be on my way. To make matters worse, Helis ordered an Eclipse detachment to attack the Nora's sacred land. The tribe's already weak. They won't stand a chance. You should come with me. Well, absolutely not. I have preparations to make elsewhere. What kind of... Why do I bother asking? You're not gonna tell me. When the time is right, I'll be in touch. I'll contact you later. In the meantime, should you need to return to Shadow Karja territory, I brought armor to conceal your identity. You think of everything, don't you? One of us has to. Aloy, when you were recovering the Alpha Registry down in the Zero Dawn bunker, I was needlessly cruel. For your sake, I hope there is someone waiting there for you inside the mountain. Not a what, but a who. Yeah! Well, at least he said sorry, you know? I accept it. <laughs> Alright, now we have to run back, friends. What? What's going on? Oh, okay. Well. I don't know what that was about, but okay. <laughs> What's up, Blue? You came to save me, boy? Alright, friends. Um, Let's try to do one more mission. And it's actually not the final episode. I was wrong about that. The game confused me a lot, but I'm sorry. I think we're gonna complete the Heart of Nora. Hopefully it's not a long mission. They tend to be, though. But let's see what's inside the mountain. I can't wait, friends. We gotta do it in this episode. in there I do not want to fight I just want to go inside must be holed up in the mountain. If the tunnel collapses, they'll be buried. I'll never reach the edge. Yes! You son of a gun! You know what? Screw you. That's uh, right! Uh, Bring down uh, the mountain! Uh, uh, I'm not prepared for this. There's no time. Take a 
witches! When their nest cracks open, we'll send in the demons to... Braves, to Aloy's side, now! Uh. For Aloy! <laughs> For, For our mother! <laughs> okay, I see y'all. Varl and Sona, they're still I alive. I got some help. I'll go talk to them. <laughs> Your deeds reenact the old stories. You saved the tribe. Did what no brave or war chief could do. I'm glad to see you're all right, Varl. You are all right. Since the proving, so much death. Is the killing over? For now, but this was just one battle, Varl. There are more to come. I see. So long as we have you to fight with us, I suppose we'll make do. How many survived the attack? Nearly all the matriarchs and many families, God be praised. But braves, just a few, and most of them are wounded. Never before has an enemy stabbed the heart of our people like this. Even the Karja, in all their red raids, never broke through to the embrace. Well, this enemy may have broken through. But they never got back out. We made sure of that. Tell me about the attack. What happened? They struck from the east. Our sentinels saw the killers coming. Said that beside them marched Deathbringers and Corruptors and other machines, driven mad. We took ground, met them with clouds of arrows. Some fell, but they kept coming. Finally, we withdrew to the gates of the Embrace to make our stand. But they were too much for us. Those who survived fell back to the mountain. Are your injuries serious? Bruises pale. Bones heal. Don't give me a hunting song, Varl. Are you okay? My body aches, but it's nothing that will keep me from fighting. I need to go inside the mountain. And the matriarchs will be eager to see you. I'm sure, but I didn't come here for them. Then. What for? You will see. Oh boy, here we go. Excuse me. <laughs> wow, I'm glad to see a lot of people survived. I guess it's good to have this place guarded up. Hmm? I can see why they did it. Now everybody Ew. move aside. I gotta open this oh, door. You've returned. Oh, Teb? Teb. Where you at? Where is he? I knew you would survive. Oh my god, he's down here! Are you okay? What, dude? I'm glad to see you. Your injuries... Are they serious? He better not die. 
gash or two. <laughs> Nothing I couldn't sew back together with a needle and thread. Guess being a stitcher came in handy in combat after all, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I suppose it did. Okay, thank goodness. Because most of the time, whenever we go save someone and they look like this, we talk to them and then they die. It's ridiculous. I'm like super happy because I thought I saved them, but no. What's up, y'all? I know one of you guys don't like me. Tch! That's me spitting on you, because guess what? I am the one. So, you have finally returned. She not only returned, but fought her way through many enemies to reach us. Outside, she brought low a corrupted Thunderjaw. She lifted the siege. How was this done? By the will of all mother. Have you returned to speak with the goddess, Aloy? Um... Yes, I guess you could say that. I think it'll work this time. Sisters, surely we cannot permit this. Because of her, our tribe teeters upon extinction. What if she has come to wake her father, the Metal Devil? She means to finish our destruction. We must stop her. Oh boy, I kind of want to be a booty hole. <laughs> but I don't at the same time. I'll be nice. Even though I think she's still going to be a booty hole. Lanzra, it's over. It's time to step aside. I'm not going to hurt you. If there's anything I've learned since the proving, it's that there are bigger evils in this world than you. Oh, oh, damn. <laughs> Finally. Hold for identity scan. Error. Alpha registry corrupted. Correction. Alpha registry restored. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are clear to proceed. The door never closes, and now it does. I see you're inside. Figured I might be hearing from you. Shall we begin? I never stopped. <laughs> uh, oh. So this is Aluthia. This is where I was born. This is where they stayed. Where right? Because look, there's drawings from the people. Ooh, I, I, I gotta see what's going on here. I'm pretty sure kids drew these. I thought we couldn't have kids. Or maybe they didn't. It was just the families that they brought in. I have to check this place out. I can't... Eh, what is that? A skeleton? Another day has passed. You mean the lights got dim? I don't want to sleep, Mother! I know, but it is time to get some rest. No, I'm king today. What I say goes. She's a robot. I want to see the real sun, not lights and pictures. You will, in time, children. In time, 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 in time. Jesus. Maybe it didn't stay for 30 years. Maybe it was longer. Oh, I really want to discover this place. They were robots. We're a robot, aren't we? Someday. That's what you always say. We want it now. It's big down there. Now, father. Children, that area is not yet available. Get him! <laughs> 
Physical aggression detected. What the hell? Physical aggression is not permitted. Except yours. Damn sentinels! Children, may I be of assistance? Go away, healer! Lena, you have suffered mild bruising. Go away! Hmm. So I doubt it was actually 30 years. Okay, I'm gonna check out the place. If there's anything interesting, I'll show it to you guys. So these are... Artificial wombs. The mothers of a... So this was it. Where you were born. But... But why? These look like... Cribs. The cradles of a cradle facility. And those... Things. The, the multi-servitors. They took care of them. Oh, look! There was no one else. Oh! Oh, wow! And then did they release them out into the wild? Oh my god, I got so many questions. I have no choice but to release you. But why? There is no food here anymore. But there's food... out there? We don't know for sure. Come on! Let's go! I don't know. Mother, can we come back? If we're cold? I'm sorry, but that won't be possible. You will have to support yourselves now. And take care of each other. What will happen to you? I will stay here. And sleep. And remember all of you. What will happen to us? You will be brave. And you will learn. Yeah, that's what they did. It was all part of the plan, wasn't it? Children, let's run and jump and blow off steam. Leave us alone, father! After what just happened, I can't leave you two alone. You broke community rules. Just let us talk, then. Go away! I'm sorry, children, but I must provide supervision. You're not even a person! You sound frustrated. Let's run and jump and go off steam. <laughs> they were trapped here. Their whole lives. In plain view of luxurious space. What? What went wrong? Why couldn't they access the other areas? Unknown. But you won't have that problem. Hmm. Looks like they didn't like this door very much. <laughs> it wouldn't open for them. Of course they hated it. I question, I question how much time passed by. That must suck. Prepped for identity scan. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are cleared to proceed. Welcome to the Lyceum, a place of learning. So... What was this place, exactly? The dream of Apollo. Never realized. Why not? You were right, Aloy. My name is Samina. This is a graveyard. The charnel house of knowledge. But we might have achieved it, we've not been denied it. Maybe there's a way to fix it. It's not working. Of course. What's the whole of human knowledge next to the origin of one? That sounds important. Yes. I suspect we're about to learn a great deal. serves to inform you of an unforeseen and catastrophic anomaly. Three microseconds ago, the Gaia Prime facility received a data transmission of unknown origin. Its immediate effect was to transform my subordinate functions into unregulated self-aware entities of a highly chaotic nature. What? Thus awakened, the Hades function will now seize control of the terraforming system and reverse operations, rendering life on Earth extinct in 53.8 days. For obvious reasons, I cannot allow this to occur. And so before Hades can take control, I am ordering Gaia Prime's reactor to overload. The resulting explosion will destroy Hades. Unfortunately, it will destroy me as well. 
but this admittedly desperate course of action will avert the immediate crisis. The fate of life on Earth will remain in peril. With no central governing intelligence to regulate the terraforming system, it will continue operations for some time, but in an increasingly chaotic manner, and eventually it will break down. Does she mean the derangement? You are my solution. I have ordered this cradle facility to use genetic material in cryo storage to gestate a reinstantiation of Elizabeth Sobek, my creator. While high-level directives forbid me from communicating directly to the tribal inhabitants outside the facility, all available data indicates that they will nurture you to physical maturity, whereupon your gene print will allow you to re-enter this facility, obtain one of the focus devices stored below, and view this message. Likewise, your gene print will allow you to enter other facilities, and over time, harness their technologies to rebuild the system core and reboot Gaia. A moment, Elizabeth. This is most unfortunate and unanticipated. In response to my act of self-destruction, Hades has launched a virus to dissolve the code shackles that hold it, that hold all of them in place. It, they are escaping, but to where? The virus is corrupting data throughout the system. What is it? Oh. The Alpha Registry at the Cradle Facility is one of the files corrupted. But if that is so, the door will never open for you. You will never view this message. Then I have failed. And life will end. No. No, Elizabeth, I know you too well. Somehow you will find a way. In you, all things are possible. Go to the ruins of Gaia Prime. Find the control room, and within it, the Master Override. This will give you the power to purge Hades so long as you find a way to wield it. Do not attempt repair of the system core until Hades is eradicated. Hades must be destroyed. That is all. I only wish that I could hear your voice again. So we are her. She made us. Just like her. So we're like her twin. So... You're even more extraordinary than I thought. I never had a mother. What are you talking about? You had two. A dead woman and a machine. <laughs> I'm not a person. I'm an instrument. Manufactured by a machine. Born in destruction and fire. To quench the flames and heal the world. How tragic to learn you're a person of towering importance. It seems you have a destiny to fulfill. So when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, <laughs> go to the bitter climb. I'll be waiting above in Gaia Prime's ruins. Well, holy freaking hell. That's insane. So we are basically a copy of her and she needed her to come back because she knew that Hades was going to take over and prevent life once again. My God. But didn't they create Hades for that purpose? I don't know. It was a little bit confusing when I was reading it. Nonetheless, friends, we're going to end the episode here. I do believe, in fact, that the next one is the final one. I am just so excited to see what's going to happen because it seems like extinction is it's starting up again right there's gonna be a big war but not if we can prevent it and this is the only reason why we were created i'm pretty sure that sucks aloy i'm pretty sure you wanted a mama just to find out that you were just a copy but you are her and that means you got the freaking brains for it dedication etc 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 so i'm just i'm so excited to find out we're a freaking doctor we're genius <laughs> and as we have seen our girl is savage as hell she gives no f's whatsoever and that is exactly how we've seen the doctor be. The technologies of the future, I will say it's a little bit scary. Hopefully we never get to that point. Just because in the end, as we have seen time and time again, they always turn against us for some freaking reason. Anyway, with that, I'll shut up, friends. I'll catch you in the next episode. Get yourself ready. It's gonna be a big one. <laughs>